She fires up. What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Glad that you guys joined us for yet another Hurst video. The second one to be exact. If you haven't seen the first one, go check that out. I got it linked in the description. But today we're going to do some stuff to the hearse. Um, first things first, we got to go up here. So if you remember in the last video, I was going to go ahead and get the title figured out, get all the stuff figured out. Had a little hiccup with that. So today we're going to go get that straightened out. We've got insurance on it. Got to go have it inspected first. Hopefully it's going to pass inspection. I don't know. That's a toss up to be honest. Um, it's not perfect condition. It's, it's not, but it gets you from A to B. And that's all we really want. But as you can see, the hearse is pretty dirty. I've been told a few disturbing things by the previous owner. As I said in the previous video, he was pretty open in telling me that he had had relations in the back of this hearse as well. I guess that was a huge selling point to him for me. I don't know. But that kind of adds to the Ugh, you know to the whole thing another issue that's going on is it's losing power i don't know if it's an alternator battery issue or just a wire or what's going on so we got to figure that out but like i said first things first we gotta get this thing legal to be on the road we already got the insurance let's go get it licensed hopefully it's going to pass inspection i don't know let's uh let's find out oh that's that's disgusting that's disgusting Oh. Keep looking for the backup camera. Even the air conditioner's working, which is very surprising. I did not think that thing worked. Pretty warm out today. Shout out to, to Fosi sunglasses. It's really bright. I can't really see that great. Thankfully, uh, they hooked me up with some sunglasses. Link in the description. Use my code TAKE10 to save 10%. We're in route right now to the sheriff's office. We have to get it inspected first, and then we go up and have the title switched over. That is the current process. Hope this is going to be a quick, easy deal. I just figured out how to do the caution lights. I think all my lights work, which I think is the main thing. There's no cracks in the windshield. If they like pull out like there's no rear view mirror or something like that, then we're just up the creek because... Uh, this thing doesn't have one. This thing is meant to haul deceased people, so you're just not gonna be able to see in or out of it through the back. The looks you get when driving a hearse. All right, well, we made it. Um, let's go in here and see what we gotta do and hopefully get this thing inspected and hopefully it passes. I don't know, we'll see. You wanna read me the mileage? Sure. Uh, 95,391. There you go. Okay. All right, Thank see you. ya. Riding legal. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. One more thing before we get home and start working on this thing, cleaning it out. I actually got to pick up my older brother from school, and I think I'm going to pick him up in the good old hearse. He gets embarrassed pretty easily, so I think it'll be pretty interesting to, uh, I don't know, just take it through, see some crazy looks I get. Just kind of uh, ride him a little bit, you know? So, uh... Let's go pick him up real quick and we'll get on home. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sees me. Hop on in, big guy. Why does it smell like gas? Huh? Why does it how do I even close this? I just shut it. Just pull it. Oh. What do you think? Huh? Why is it sinking there? So we are actually at Walmart now, trying to get a few items together. Goal number one today is to kind of start the whole cleaning process. We're actually here to pick up a shop vac and a few other things, kind of help out the smell. Pretty stiff odor in the old Hersey. Right. We couldn't find a shop vac, so we're just gonna go ahead and get the stuff to clean the upholstery, carpet, all that stuff. Probably have to make a stop at Lowe's as well. We're actually running out of time today. But we're probably gonna try some of this. Armor All Fabric Carpet Refresher. What do you think? Multi-purpose? Yeah. Probably, so probably them too. Uh, and probably some. We need to grab some of these. Well, there's sure. no air though. More we do have air, by the way. Found that out today. This might be what we're looking for. Portable wet and dry vac. It's not too big. Two horsepower. No. A couple horses. That should take care of it. I think we're ready to start the deep cleaning on the hearse. We're running out of daylight, actually. We only have like an hour left at the most. I showed you a little earlier, but man, this thing is absolutely filthy. This guy had a smoking problem. How about a Nicorette, my guy? Yeah, this thing is absolutely filthy in the back and everything. It's... Hey, this is open back here. Yeah. yeah, like it's, this is just a frame. 
Oh man, my man has got beanie weenies. I don't think it's in our best interest to probably take this out though. This thing needs vacuuming bad. Good suction? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. So one thing that we noticed in the hearse, and I've actually already been there today, so this might be a little bit pointless. It's not COVID, I've already been tested, but I've noticed that I've had a lot of allergy stuff going on. John has too, maybe not to the degree that I have. And I've actually developed a little rash on my back. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with it. Since we're gonna be moving all over the hearse and kind of cleaning it and stuff's gonna be flying everywhere, we're getting some gowns on, we're getting some masks on, and we're gonna try to avoid that getting any worse. And hopefully after we clean it, everything's gonna be good anyway. I don't know that this is gonna help that much. It looks see-through. It's see-through, yeah. I mean, this is kind of wore when I was in the healthcare. Yeah, here's a, here's a cassette tape. Appalachian Stomp Bluegrass Classics. Maybe we should try the uh, brush attachment. What is this on my hand? It's clogged up. Let's not vacuum the carpet, let's just take the carpet out. Don't come any closer. Potential meth lab situation here. Well, maybe because oh, this is not even put down, John. I know, so I said this is just yeah. Okay, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, yeah. All right, this this is not as intimidating as it yeah. was. Kind of still like ten minutes ago. Put some crap back on. I'm probably gonna be sick around a dog. Ooh, whose shirt's that? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm throwing away. Feels pretty stiff though. I'm on cloud nine right now. She's coming along. We're working third shift hours right now, but uh, you know, everything's coming along pretty well. Really what I'm gonna have to figure out is like what we're gonna do about this. Are we just gonna like box this in and lose all this room and make kind of like a shelf, something to sit something on? Or like, what are we gonna do about this? I think that I'm just gonna extend this all the way to the wall of the hearse. Probably box over the wheel well there. Yeah, I know the shower cap was a little far, but uh, oh well. Oh, it's like a can of Viannis. You see that? Open that up and let's do one more of these back here. Yeah, cause you got that spray thing up in yeah. the front. Spider back there, look at that. It'd be on the Kerwin team. That was some work. We got 15 minutes. You see that thing just started going crazy? Yeah, it was pretty strong by the time I shut the door even. It's probably the best thing we bought, right? Yeah. yeah I think that's gonna take care of our smell problem. Hopefully it works. Well guys, this is a few days later and the hearse is smelling super fresh. I just got back from Bassmaster Classic, been gone for probably like three days and the thing is smelling great. Definitely a whole lot better than what it was before. And that brings us to today's goal of getting some lights in the hearse. Not only lights, but we got all kinds of different colors. We got blue, we got yellow, we got red, we got pink, we got orange. So we got four of these lights. Hopefully four strips is gonna be enough to light the thing up and uh, help us out. We also have some more plans later. We're gonna play around with the hearse even though it's not quite completely done. Have a little bit of fun with it. First, we're gonna go ahead and get these lights put up in the back of the hearse. Uh, should I put one here? I, I put one there and one over on that side. All right, y'all, we have got the lights pretty much installed the best way we can. We honestly need some more tools, and we got to have some more lights, too. This is not going to be enough, but... And they're blue right now, which is actually, I believe, illegal, but they actually change colors. So, uh, so there we go. We got some LED lights. Got one back there, one right there. It's going to give us a little bit more light back here, and, I don't know, the blue kind of makes it creepy, too, so... I should get a good angle of me, John. I mean, I'll get a good angle. Hold on. We're connected. Change them what? That's the app right there. We got the app. Come in here, see if, it, see if it works. So you can, look at that. Oh, check that out, baby. Flash? 
Scrub? Oh, well, we hey, need to put a flash yeah, warning. Yeah. You need to put a flash pulse? warning. This is pulse. Oh, that's kind of romantic. Right? <laughs> that lit that whole thing up. That's Look, pretty good. I tried to tell you, Bob, you got to listen to me sometimes. That's, that's not too bad. Yeah, we got to do a better job of fixing the wires. The wires kind of a little bit everywhere, but not really. I mean, really not that bad. We're lit up, baby. Lit up. All right, imagine coming up to some random park or just wherever we're going to camp at, probably, and just seeing this in the back of a hearse. I'm telling people when they're just getting in on <laughs> You first in here? Yeah, come on in. What are you doing in here? <laughs> Hop in, buddy. I thought I see lights on. Are you gonna show? Yeah, get All in right, here. God, we, we got it lit up. We got this. it lit up. I, I can't handle this. <laughs> no, I ain't closing it because then I'm stuck. No, no you ain't. Not. You're good. We're I ain't got exit. no handle back here. Huh? Exit door. Oh! Close it. Shut it. Look at that. It's already warm. Yeah. Is that claw marks? <laughs> claw marks? No, that ain't. Right that's not claw marks. All right, y'all, we are in the hearse. She's all lit up. That right there might be the best angle. She's all lit up. We got the LED lights everywhere. We got the little buddy heater running over here and it's actually already really warm in here. Like, it's getting hot now. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the hearse videos. If you haven't already checked out the first one, it is linked down below, as well as a car camping adventure that Preacher and I went on a few few weeks ago now, I guess. A few weeks ago, which is probably my favorite video on the channel. So make sure to go check those out. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and make sure you like the video. Really helps out the channel a ton. The next video you see will probably be construction on the hearse and start getting this thing framed up and ready to go. Make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. You guys don't want to miss these camper hearse videos. So, with that said, Appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see you next time on another episode of Fishing with Tate. Preacher, I want you to hit it straight this time. Here we go.